Hey, what's going on? It's Jason Capital here and welcome to today's eight minute talk. Please take a seat, get relaxed because you're gonna really find this one helpful. And something inside of me tells me that you may even come back in the future to this video and continue deriving value from it, which I certainly hope that you do. So let's start off with today's saying, okay? You can sleep on the wooden floor, okay? You can sleep on the wooden floor. So there was a video I shot about four years ago. It turned out to be one of my most popular videos for um, all, a lot of my dating guys. And it was about Benjamin Franklin, ironically. So I was actually going back through that video and I'm reading through some of the comments because I like to read every comment. I just want to see where you're at. I want to see what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what's going on in your life. And I saw a comment from a kid there and it's really interesting because he watched that video a little bit too late. Here's what I mean. He went to EDC in Orlando. It's probably a few years ago now. But he goes to EDC with this girl that he'd been kind of vibing with. And he's a young kid, right? There's a lot of guys on Team Capital and, and girls on Team Capital who are CEOs and executives and, and worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And then there's other ones who are just brand new to this world of, of excitement and adventure and first class freedom and getting the life that you want, desire and deserve. And this is one of those younger kids, right? But he wasn't totally in tune with what we know. So he goes to EDC with this girl and they're having fun and he loses her for a second. He finds her 10 minutes later making out with some other guy on the dance floor there, or on the dance field, I guess we could call it, right? It is EDC. And he talks to her for a second and he says, I can't believe you did that and this is done. I'm, we're, we're not friends anymore, we're not talking. And he leaves her there and fortunately he did the right thing, okay? If, if you know, I, I'm, I know of people in this world, I know of guys in this world who would have in that moment, once have been like, I'm done, they would have like pretended they didn't see, they would have pulled some shit where they would do a bunch of mental, mental somersaults and they would have convinced themselves that it didn't happen or they would have rationalized, rationalized it in some way. But at its core, they would have sacrificed their complete dignity and moral integrity for that. He did it in that moment, which is good. Okay, if you're a girl watching this and that you saw a guy do that, you would, you would do the same thing right? But he fucked up. Okay. A couple days later, he texts the same girl and he says he still wants to be friends with her. Okay. That was a needy fucking maneuver. And of course, what do you think happened? You think she was like, Oh, great. A man with no self-respect. I'd love to be friends with that guy. No. Okay. She didn't respond. And, and of course he goes back to YouTube and he tells me this whole story and he wants help and, and we're going to help him out right here. Okay. So Leaving her in that moment, having self-respect, good, texting her later, bad. Forgetting he couldn't sleep on the wooden floor. This is something many of us have forgotten. Like we live in a world today where uh, we live in a world of instant popcorn and the most comfortable couches of all time. Like, do you realize our couch technology is at an all time high? Couches have never been more comfortable. Okay. Even the cheap couches on Craigslist are still, they're all so comfortable. And that is an issue because what does it mean? What does it mean if our technology, our couch technology is that high and our couches are that comfortable? It means that we've grown soft, okay? It means that we, we are needy. It means that we don't know how to handle shit. It means that we are preparing to lose in all areas of our lives, okay? So what do I mean by you can sleep on the wooden floor? What's that really about? Okay, well, let me tell you the story about a young Benjamin Franklin. Not the old Benjamin Franklin, the dude on the $100 bill, but the young Benjamin Franklin. So when Ben was in his 20s, he had this, this uh, newspaper that he was running in Philadelphia, and it was starting to grow, and he was living by himself. And one day, near the end of that day's work, a guy came in, and he wanted to put an advertisement in Ben's newspaper. Unfortunately, that advertisement he wanted to put in wasn't really in tune with Ben's morals, his ethics, his integrity. So Ben goes, before I decide if I'm going to accept this money and sell my soul to the devil, I need to think about this for a night. And he tells that to the guy and he goes, I'll let you know tomorrow. So Ben closes up shop for the day. He goes to the local bakery. He buys one loaf of bread and he walks home in the freezing, chilling cold of winter in Philadelphia in the 1700s. And he goes back to his house and instead of going to sleep on his bed or his couch, he lays on the wooden floor, okay, the cold wooden floor and he has water and a mug and he has that loaf of bread and he puts on an overcoat and he eats the bread and the water for dinner and nothing else and then he goes to sleep again on that hard cold wooden floor with only his overcoat didn't use anything else to keep him warm and he's freezing and he's chilling and he's shaking but he makes it through the night and when he wakes up in the morning he lets the guy know he goes thank you so much for your offer but i don't want that in my newspaper for any dollar amount Okay, why did Ben do that? Why did he put himself through that arduous, chilly, freezing night? 
He wanted to show himself that even if his newspaper failed, even if he, you know, even if he said no to this deal, even if nothing worked out, he would always have his, his, his integrity. And even if the money ran out, it would be okay because he could sleep on a wooden floor. He didn't need that money. He didn't need to sell his soul in exchange for some fucking green freedom paper. He was okay without it. He could sleep on the wooden floor. He was non needy. And that non-neediness gave him the power he needed to say no to the shit he didn't want and pursue his dreams and his goals. And you tell me, how did the rest of his life work out? As far as I can tell, he's one of the most successful human beings that has ever walked this planet with us. Okay. So what does this mean for you? Okay. What does this mean for you? Well, let me give you another story. There is a guy right now who's emailing me literally almost every other day trying to sell me a certain website. It's a really good domain name, but when he first emailed me offering it to me, he wanted almost a million dollars for this one URL. There's no way I was gonna pay a million dollars for a URL. And I told him that, and, and then he came back the next day with a slightly lower price, and the price gets a little bit lower. And literally, it's been a couple of weeks, and the price just seems to keep dropping every single day, and I'm still telling him no and no and no. Okay, what's the difference here? Okay, that guy has forgotten. He has completely forgotten that he still has what it takes to sleep on the wooden floor. I have not. Okay, I haven't forgotten what it's like to sleep on a wooden floor. I have no problem sleeping on a fucking wooden floor. You can take all this shit away from me. I will still get the job done. Okay, you can take it all away and in six months I will be right back where I need to be. Because I don't forget things like sleeping on a wooden floor. I don't forget stories like Benjamin Franklin. I want you to remember that story about Benjamin Franklin in times where you need to remind yourself that, hey, you can sleep on the wooden floor too. Okay? So EDC Kids, sorry I don't know your name. You know, it's been a couple years. I would love to get some feedback from you. I'm sure everyone here would to see how you've evolved, how you've grown, how you've transformed. But, dude, if you haven't, I'm looking in your eyes right now and I'm reminding you. You can sleep on the wooden floor. You can make it happen. You can sleep on that cold, dirty, hard, wooden floor. And for anyone else, there's a deal you're working on. It's, it's not coming through yet. Or maybe there's a sale you're trying to close and it's not coming through yet. Or if you're waiting for the love of your life and he or she is not showing up yet. So what? You can be a little patient. You can keep sleeping on that wooden floor until that deal comes through or that sale closes or the love of your life shows up one day, okay? You can keep bucking going. You can sleep on the wooden floor. So this moment right now, here's what I want you to do. You're gonna be seeing this on a Friday, I believe. Maybe not, doesn't matter. If you have a weekend coming up or if you have a week coming up, remember this, okay? Remember this moment and always remember this about yourself, okay? Me and you, us, we can sleep on the wooden floor. We don't always want to, but if we have to, we most certainly can. I'm Jason Capital. that was today's eight minute talk. I'll see you in the next one.